and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part three of our 12 hour sub battle stream today. This is sub battle Saturday. So at the last Saturday of the month, each month uh, we do sub battles. It is a ton of fun. So far, um, I took a started to take a commanding lead there in, uh, I guess, video number two for the YouTube channel. Um, but let's see if te if a team chat can come on back. All right, thank you, Wake. So Wake's going to be our next person. So uh, if you haven't seen like parts one and two, hope you watch those. Like part one, I have um, have it all laid out uh, better of like exactly what we're doing. But I'm playing against subscribers all day, and we're to see what deck I'm playing. We got this wheel that I'm spinning. That uh, that we're going to be spinning this wheel to see what deck I'm playing each round. So that's right. So every round I'm playing a different deck. Um, chat's bringing all their cool decks and everything. So it's it's a really fun day. And it looks like we got Rakdos Omnipotence. We've been hitting all the Rakdos decks. I think that's the last one. Yeah, that looks like that's the last one. Been hitting a lot of the red and the Rakdos decks. Here. All right. So direct challenge. Um... Rakdos Omnipotence. Let's see, best of three. All right, so this is a deck that we just played two days ago on Throwback Thursday. We played Fraying Omnipotence. So this is like Rakdos Burn with this cool M19 card that's rotating out. So let's see how it does. Here we go. All right, Wake, make sure you choose best of three. I think I changed mine, right? Yeah, so ch change yours to best of three. There we go. Yeah, so we're, we're uh, five hours in now to the 12-hour stream. All right, so challenge match, best of three, coin flip. I can't... Yeah, my, my my screen's in the way, but that's what you should should say. Challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Let's see. We had a lot of good matches today. Had a lot of fun decks. We've gotten like three new decks so far that look pretty exciting that we're going to try out from uh, three decks that subscribers have brought the table I'm going to try out in, in uh, different streams later on so far. I kind of wanted to get rid of light at the stage, honestly. Yeah, I think we heard of that. Um... I don't know. I don't. I've just always used this mode, QQ. I don't know what the difference is between this mode and tourney mode. That's unfortunate. I was definitely relying on that card. Um, but so when... Whenever the season ends, the ranking season ends, which I think is like any time now. Because I, th I think it was today at some point. But whenever that ends, then the... Uh, the new one should just begin like right after that, as far as I know. Alright, well getting rid of the light at the stage not working out with us drawing a couple of lands here. There you go. Awesome, Debo. Awesome.
Ugh. Too many lands. No, I don't think they ever announce when stuff's going to leave the store, which is not a good way to have it. You think they would like want to just create a sense of urgency of being like, hey, by the way, this stuff's leaving the store at a certain day. So you should purchase like the bundles before they leave. But I think they just um, just uh, leave the store just eventually. Um, I want Angrass instead of Wizard's Lightnings, and that's it. No other changes. That's all, yeah, that is true. Engine says technically not letting people know creates a sense of urgency. Which that is true, but not like the first time not telling people that they're going away at all, you know, didn't create that the first time because all the guild bundles just went away. As far as I know, like they're not available in the store anymore. And there wasn't like any announcement about them going away or anything. And people didn't know that they were going away because they just thought they would just be there. And then. People are really sad they couldn't purchase them later. Uh, I would say Wolf, Alex. The question is, what's the more likely going to be a playable travel deck after rotation, Wolf or Fairy? I think Wolf. I don't. I don't even know. I mean, well, def. I mean, it's it's like Wolf, like like ninety five percent chance Wolf between those two, because Wolf's. Wolf's going to be pretty good, or at least it'll be playable, because you just played Nightpack Ambusher. There aren't any fairies right now. The next set, as far as I know, there's not fairies in the next set either. The, the next set is a fairy tale set, not like a fairy, as, as in like play a whole lot of fairies kind of set, but a fairy tale set. As far as I know. Uh, it usually doesn't take that long for the rewards thing to flip or like to go to the next season. I don't, I don't know of like the exact time though. Okay, so there are going to be a, a little bit of fairies, but not not actual like, not like a, a big time tribal stuff. But there will be just a few fairies. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. That was not a very good sword point diplomacy for me. Revealing two risk factors because those are easy to just pay three life for each one. I I <clears throat> the reason why I played. Diplomacy over other cards is because usually diplomacy helps you hit like a, a land drop or two, and that's what I was doing to like, you know, maybe reveal a couple of lands that they give you the lands, and then we can start casting more spells. Revealing double risk factor is pretty rough. Those are more valuable than just three damage. But still, all in all, that was just six damage plus draw a card, so can't complain too much. Okay, you know, definitely want to get the Knight of the Ebon Legion out of there, so I want to cast the Shock on it. Uh, 
Um. Where's our lands? There's our lands. Found them lands. I felt like playing the Lava Runner would just turn on a removal spell. No. Too bad. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. So that gets rid of the <clears throat> nickel bolus. And they're down to three. We have the strike in hand. No. Well, we still have risk factor that whatever we draw, we just discard it to risk factor if it's not a strike. And then we get to draw three. Draw three. And the bite. All right, game number three. Oh no, Jack Nolee. Well, you're here now. You've you've missed five hours. We got seven hours left. So you haven't missed everything. Let's play. I don't think I like the shock for duress turn one against like the burn deck because like all you're doing is you like you take like let's say you take a three damage burn spell, you just saved one life, so you traded a duress for like one life by doing that. I don't think shock for duress. So like. Yeah, they just took shock. So, like, <laughs> you know, so basically it just means I had to, they spend a spell to, so I cast the shock. Hmm.
Hey, Hawkeye. Did you like your lunch? Spawn mayhem. Well, that thing's really hard to kill. Alright, down to 10, so now Spawn of Mayhem will grow. Dealing these last points is going to be kind of tough. These fraying omnipotences are, are basically dead cards. They're, they're really not doing anything. Um, cons definitely was considering blocking with Lava Runner and just making them spend the three mana for the Knight of the Ebon Legion and just kind of waste their turn. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have just done that. That would have been better. Yeah, I should have blocked. Oh, I just left myself dead, didn't I? So I can't I can't strike them. I have to strike knight if they activate knight. Oh, we just got a top deck of burn spell. Or wait. No, Frank. Wait. Yeah, I could go for the tie. They could just sacrifice spawn of mayhem, though. If I cast Fraying Omnipotence, all they have to do is sacrifice Spawn of Mayhem, and then I lose. So it's probably better to light up the stage for a burn spell. Because, yeah, if, if my opponent plays it correctly, if I go Omnipotence, I lose. Uh, dang. I could have omnipotence and just see if they mess up. And it would have been a tie. But. We got some packs to open. Blood for Bones, Agent of Treachery. Those are some good cosmetics to have. I like it. We got some packs. Let's crack these packs.
I think I only have mythics to open up. And actually, I'm not even sure if there's even mythics left. Ooh. Rare wow card. Very cool. Uh, that's close. M20 or Guilds of Ravnica for which one has more playables. Guilds of Ravnica has all the, the shock lands. And so, like, if you need the shock lands, that's, like, a real good reason to go Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, love it. I need mythic wow cards. That is the only thing I really need in here in the game is mythic wild cards. I got like infinite rare wild cards. Good, I need those mythics. And I already own all the, the mythic or all the rares anyway. <clears throat> Mishra's self replicator for throwback Thursday. That that could be a thing. I'll I'll check it out. I'll write that one down to to see if there's some kind of deck to build there. Anyway, let's get this started. All right, so if you want to be the next person to battle, write the word battle. Sorry, Don, right after where you wrote that. Um, the 10 rare ICRs. Well, they'll just be gems. I, I have all the rares in the game. I don't have all the mythics though. Uh, let's see, nine to five. Ooh, we're working our nine to five. Anyway, yeah, GG's wake. GG's there. Real close. Okay. Oh, the ICRs will include Eldrain to get 10 free Eldrain rares. That's cool. So yeah, battle is just, it's just to see who I'm playing next. It's just for subscribers. Let's see, who am I playing against next? All right, everybody in there? Rex got in there. Uh, sorry, Moxie. HXC. All right, HXC, you are up. Send me that gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag. Yeah, nothing wrong with nine, nine to five. Yeah, chat's, chat's putting up a battle for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, what deck am I playing next? Let's spin this wheel. There was 44 decks originally on this wheel earlier today. See, we've gone through 14, so we're down to 30. Mono black control. So you see, like, the, the spaces are getting bigger. All right, so mono black control. We just played this one yesterday. But if you missed that... Ah, uh, it's 3 a.m. there, Don. Sorry. All right, off to bed. Have have a good night. Okay, so this is our mono black control deck. If you've missed it. Oh, that's true. Cast 30 spells. Fortunately, they don't, like, these these challenge matches that don't count towards this, this daily. HXC, just put put your, put it here in the chat. Whatever your gamer tag is, just put it here in the chat. There's mine. Cop Copy-paste your gamer tag. There it is, perfect. Okay, uh, best of three, challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Let's go. Ooh. 
Gotta change it to best of three. Yep. A good Orzov deck that's not vampires. Um, I haven't played one in a long time. That's something I need to remake. But a few weeks ago, we had an Orzov sacrifice deck that I liked quite a bit. That did well for us. So HXC, what's what's wrong here? Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, Biapi, you have to wait a couple of days for that to show up. Okay, let's see. That's got to be a mulligan. Yeah, it's got to be a mulligan. Hey, Starman, good afternoon. Hmm. I guess I should put Ugin back. This deck needs a lot of mana. <laughs> Go team chat. Here we go for the for the Orzov list. There found it. That was we played it. Looks like it was a month ago. Has the deck list in the description. But that was pretty fun. It's not nearly as good as. Um, It's not as good as, as vampires. You know, like vampires is just amazing. If they would have surveilled, if they would have kept on top, I would have going to Field of Ruin in the Drowned Catacomb. They didn't. I'll say Field of Ruin. They could have, like, Search for Kanta. We gotta go with the black cat. Yeah, for the yeah card style rewards that just ended because we just got them. It was all right. Well, they kept something else on top, so let's blow this up. It was blood for bones and agent of treachery. This also shuffles the Ugin back. Unfortunately, we're basically out of mold of four because, you know, we mold to six. And if they're not playing creatures, these two Legion's ends are just dead. So it's really like we're on a mold of four with this game. But, of course, if you don't if you don't have any cards in hand, then the Otter Rager doesn't do anything. So that's good. And I guess they do have creatures. There's a Blight Beetle. So maybe Legion's end isn't dead. If you really want me to have this card. Hmm. So I know this means I just discard Legion's End to the Fen Lurker. But I'm fine with that. Oh, 
want to hit my land drops. I wish I didn't use the Field of Ruin. Is it... Otherwise, we. Because <clears throat> now we can't just like kill Kefnet and then shuffle. Hmm. Alright, well, now we have that. Now I just have to find a way to kill Kefnet. What's up, Storm? Welcome back. Discovery. That'll work. I am Khan. True foot will never be corrupted. I am Karn. green I just hope they don't have like another discovery to like draw a bunch of cards real quick and redraw that calf net before next turn so I can just hopefully I can just feel the ruin next turn There's just a backup cap net. Oh no. That's not good, backup cap net. What, give me a lot of mana? I know I could use like all these treasures to activate Golos, but... One Kefnet gone. We'll have like three draw steps till the next turn. Look for something for this other Kefnet.
Kevnet's tough. Kevnet's tough to deal with. Yeah, right? Yeah, I could have grabbed in Snarring Bridge. If that wasn't legal and standard. That would have been a great card to get with Karn. Dread Presence. Oh man, we are so dead. Alright, so it's either draw cards with Treasure Cove, draw two cards, or just activate Golos and use four treasures. So four treasures gets us three cards, but they're also all free. They had a third Kefnet? Uh... Until you have the choices we make, reveal who we are. Okay. I do not have good removal for Kefnet. I have Cruelty and Contempt, and that's it. I can't kill that thing. So I could put in the Ashiok to have, like, another way to, like, mill over cards. And, like, I, if I kill Kefnet, then I Ashiok, and, and, and uh, Kefnet's gone for good. Like, Grasp is dead. Elder Spell doesn't look that good. Legion's End doesn't really look that good either. I guess I'm just playing these Ashioks. I guess so. Doesn't seem like I need those other cards at all. I'll put the Chromatic Lantern in the deck, too, to help ramp. Of course, I have, I have Ugin, I have Liliana. Um, those are the cards that can deal with Kefnet. My first hand had Ugin, but I... When I... Um, Mulligan, I got rid of it. So, Fen Lurker, huh? I'm sure I'll find something else to deal with the 1-1. One, one. It's scry time, though. Gotta flip these maps. I actually like the land draw the land draw. I know I put a land to the bottom, but doing that because I'm, you know, pretty pretty confident in drawing other lands, but I'm perfectly fine with drawing that land. That's why I didn't I didn't upkeep Scry, so I was just fine with drawing lands. Are 
you, Lindrake. The top five black, green, or blue busted cards in standard right now. Thought Erasure, Nyssa, Risen Reef. Hmm. Those first three are pretty easy. Not really sure what to say for four and five. Yeah, does Teferi count with Teferi being blue? This has been a nightmare. Hey, Gomez. There was an announcement. Uh, there was a you know like you know state of the beta announcement that talked all about. Um, rotation and everything and so yeah I want to check that that announcement out okay Teferi doesn't count no I do not think Bag of Holding will replace Treasure Map I think Bag of Holding is a good help is easy to find in is a lot weaker of a card unfortunately was unpleasant. Alright, treasure map is going to start helping us pull through. We had an extra four draw steps here. Yeah, I didn't use the sack too, because I don't even, like Liliana just sacrificing like two Fen Lurkers. Oh no. Uh I guess punish for using my treasure cove. Yeah, Agent of Treachery. That's that's a pretty busted one. I guess Knight of the Ebon Legion. That's honestly up there. Why why do they always want to tap the treasure cove? Narset's a good one. Yeah, the top three are definitely Thought Erasure, Risen Reef, Nyssa. I'm not sure if Veil of Summer makes it because of how narrow it is. It's, you know, the best possibly best possible thing you've been doing. Like, when it does its job, it does its job just, like, so well. You know, it's really efficient, but it doesn't just generally do something against everybody. Oh yeah, Lanwar Elf. Yeah, I forgot about Lanwar Elf there too. Yeah, never mind. Well, Lanwar Elf's easy, easily in there too. So we found four easy ones. An excellent choice. So there, there's definitely the top four. You think Scape Shift's number five? I 
Yeah, I mean, Land of Warlock's the best turn two, turn one play. Thought of is the best turn two play. Risen Reef's the best turn three play. And this is just pretty busted. Yeah, I don't think Scape Shift is up there either. Those are definitely the top three, or top four. Narset, Narset's the best thing I've heard so far for number five. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion, maybe, though. I'm not sure if it's Knight of the Ebon Legion or Narset. Those are both pretty good. So, if you're just joining, we're talking... The question was, what are the best cards that basically have no red or white in them that are just the other colors? I should have just done this first. Because Knight does so much for a one drop, kills people so fast. But then Narset, of course, the other creature, other player can't draw and everything like that. Narset's pretty great too. I think I like those two over Ascanta. No, Yurok's not. Your rock's not very close to those two. I mean, it's close, I guess, but your rock's maybe like top 15 or something. We do like a, a pull. Yeah, like Soren. Yeah, that's that's the other card. Is Soren. Yeah, three mana Soren. That's definitely the other card. I could see that. So there's no way Narset or Ascanta aren't up there in the top five. Behold. Well, I, I'm not taking Narset or Ascanta over those top four. Llanowar Elf, Thought Erasure, Risen Reef, Nissa. Oh, Krasis. Yeah, I didn't think about Krasis. Now Teferi is is white. Man, that's so that's a tough. I'm still I'm not taking Krasis over those other four still, but that's still so that's a tough. So now we have like a a four. Like the next four, Narset, um, Knight. I mean, even if you go with Ascanta, Narset, Ascanta, Knight, Soren, and Krasis. Those are nine awesome cards. Got treasure map over there. The time has come. I know they could just attack Ashiok and kill Ashiok here. I don't really care. 
the fasciox gone. Not a big deal. Yeah, the basic lands are colorless. So those are not... The basic lands wouldn't count because they're colorless. Alright, so they are using their mana. Yeah, I guess might as well do this. <clears throat> yeah, you, you, you're right, Waffles. Should just do that. All right, so they have Knight of the Ebon Legion. And like all sorts of like other like small creatures. I guess I want Legion's End, I guess. Ashiok's pretty useless. I don't know. I mean, we're just going to like die to Kathnet. All right, we're going to go two and two. So I think what I would have, I would go with, all right, this is the order that I would go with. Now this changes for, you know, you may have your own personal order. Double Dread Presence, card sweet. I think I would go with Land War Elf number one, Thought Erasure number two, Nissa three. Risen Reef four and Soren Venge not Vengeful Bloodlord. Sor Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Three mana Soren. Number five. Hey, Dusty. Oh, play your other Dread Presence first. You get to draw two. All right, figured it out. Good. All right, HXC knows to do that next time. That's good. All right, Waffles. Have fun playing EDH. Command the Dread Horde. Certainly outside of the top 10. Um, probably in the next 10, though. Definitely in the top 20. Somewhere in there with some of the other really busted things. That six mana, like Bola Citadel. Um, Agent of Treachery, Mass Manipulation, all that kind of stuff. Those are, those are like your cards like from like 10 to 20 all in there.
Dread Presence, so hard to kill. Evil must not be tolerated. I will not stop. So I could go, could have gone Chromatic Lantern, where I'm definitely. Could go Chromatic Lantern, where I'm definitely um, casting it next turn. Not every fight can end in victory. Cool. But wanted to go with the higher upside, because Golos can sit here and block Dread Presence. And obviously, I'm not going to give that Field of Ruin a target. Because giving Field of Ruin a target turns on Dread Presence also. No, I like my Ugin. I would have just exiled Ritual of Soot instead of Legion's End. I could Legion's End and Liliana minus. So getting punished for keeping Ritual of Soot. I kept Rit the reason why I kept Ritual of Soot is because we've seen them, you know, just have different other little creatures like Knight of the Ebon Legion and stuff. All right, my best chance here is just to cast this. And them, and them draw land, and just those be land, land in hand. And then I play Liliana next turn in minus. Draw a land. Ugh. I don't like the scry top business. Now the problem, of course, is I, I really don't have like hardly anything for that Kefnet now, exhausted. because we drew our our both of our contempts early on in the game, so I had to use the contempts earlier. Okay, Karn's good. Ish. I don't have like that Golos to grab anymore. I can like. We'll have like Meteor Golem Helm of the Host combo. That's the perfect draw. Got rid of two Kefnets.
No, oh, you missed that, Emmanuel. I, I went with Llanowar Elf, then Thought Erasure, then Nyssa, then Risen Reef, then uh, three Mana Soren. Yep, I'm planning to animate, then clone the statue. Awaken. Your fight. This has been a nightmare. So we keep that in hand because of the dread presence. So I don't actually want to attack because I don't want them to be able to activate Knight, Death Touch, and everything. We got three turn clock here with the, the three Chandra emblems. I guess I do have to jump block, otherwise I'm dead. I will reach corruption. has haste. It's like weird to have on a token artifact, haste. It's like has no power and toughness or anything, but it has haste. Has no tap ability. Man, mono black control is such a takes such a long time. That's <laughs> such a long deck to play. Ajaxy, very good games. Very, very close. Good games there. GG's. All right. If you want to be the next person to play, and if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. We'll see who's up next, and we'll also let the wheel decide what deck we are playing up next as well. So, yep, so everybody who wants to play, type the word battle in the chat for, of course, for subscribers. All right, very good. Everybody getting in there? Okay. Let's go. Who's up? Vorpal. All right, Vorpal. Send me your gamer tag. There's my gamer tag right there. And I'll spin the wheel. We still have so many decks on this wheel. So 
Some teamer. All right, playing some teamer. All right, thank you. There we go. All right, so where's our teamer deck? Um, there it is. All right, so he, so uh, showing our deck here. This is our teamer deck. We got Bio Essence Hydra, a lot of Planeswalkers, and some good magic here with this deck. All right, here we go. Oh, make sure you got to switch over to best of three. All right, Sloth. Have a good day at work. So we're six hours into our our twelve hour stream. We're halfway there. No, no Sarkin. Sarkin's only good with like the the cheap ones. So you want challenge match? Best of three. Coin flip. There we go. You got it, Vorpal. All good. Looks like we have a mirror match. Stomping ground elf, stomping ground elf. Uh, I can't keep up with that. Hmm. Do they have turn three Nissa? I could have gone for turn three Nissa by playing the Domri and ticking up. Ugh, the Phoenix. I think I got those the other day at the Mexican restaurant. The chicken Phoenixes. All right, hoping to draw land. Draw land. Yay. Because land means we get to kill their Nissa. Our Domri's gonna die, but. Where do you see my mates? My wild beasts are bringing your comeuppings. Getting Nissa out of here is very important. Forgive me. So Domri trades with Nissa and Growth Chamber Guardian, but then they also turn their Stomping Ground into a 3 3. Again. 
I will protect the virtue of this world. Behold, nature's true power. I don't really love, like, exposing a forest here before playing Krasis, but I think it's the thing to do. You want our style? You got it. It's a good card. That's a really good card. Who are reveling devastation? We get to kill Nessa. I will take that trade. That's a good trade for me. Darn. Because, yeah, we would have trampled over and still killed Domri. Either way. And, of course, I got to play this Krasis now. I can't, I can't just play Domri. Yeah, it does look like a mirror match. I think Zarius is just playing green red though. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. Uh, Stomp are so good. Cuz it's removal and it like forces me to <laughs> That's the sound of attack a stampede as well. coming straight at ya. I'm I'm really surprised the spellbreaker didn't attack, but I guess they want to trade, but I'm at seven. I'm like basically dead. Zerus would have attacked for five, I'd be down to two. If they catch ya. Yeah, there's so many like different options here. Yeah, I could kill I could kill Nissa. Kill Stomping Ground. I 
Yeah, I would have liked to draw a land where I could have just gone Domre, Tick Up, Phoenix. That would have been the best. Or I wish Chandra minus three would kill this, but it doesn't because that's an elemental. Hydra. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't really want to minus X and then have that be three to kill that. So I want to kill the land off too. I'm hoping to draw a land again next turn where I can go Domri, tick up Phoenix. So that's what I want to do. Come and destroy. No, the minus X, you choose one target. You do X damage to that target. So we could have done minus three with the third ability and dealt three damage to the stomping ground. All right, should have killed the stomping ground. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. Yeah, should have killed stomping ground. God, I just can't play my spells. All right, yeah, should, should have played this last turn. Playing Phoenix or Hydra, both of them were really bad against the Chandra. Wish I would have just played this, let this die, but got rid of the Stompy Ground, even though it would have just died to Nissa Tick Up. So yeah, I really regret my line last turn. I just need lands the last couple of turns. Ugh. I don't really see an out. Like the three, four power mountains attacking me, getting an emblem, all this stuff. I don't really see an out. And, you know, removal spell with Domri also. If I play. Alright, so if I play Chandra, I die. If I play Hellkite. I'm not. Dead, I guess. Ish. Like this. We kind of had that stalemate for a little bit, but there's too many expensive cards in hand. I can't, I can't empty my hand. My opponent's emptied their hand. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, they just need to attack, and I'm dead. Right? No, because I. Block there, block there. Got a couple more turns in me. If only <laughs> that didn't say non elemental. Like, why did. I guess they felt that Chandra was going to be too strong if it didn't say non elemental. Or maybe they just wanted you to play it in elemental decks, I guess. I wish it didn't say non elemental.
Let's get that fourth coil in. And these melodies. That was a frustrating game because it's like just like look at our hand like we have the cards that, that can win this but we just couldn't play them <laughs> didn't have the mana to play our stuff we just couldn't hit land drops for some yeah like that was a long game we only had the five lands that's frustrating and you know even with like the drawn extra cards with the crises and stuff um All right, we got lands this time, so that's good. We'll take it. Take some lands. After that last game, pay two luck. Melody can be pretty great against like Nissa also, just stealing a land can be really nice. Mind control is a powerful card. Now we're breaking so many spells over here. Breaking so many spells. <laughs> An unreal amount of spells. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if there's any spells left to be broken at this point. That is true. Together we will prevail. The land shall conquer you. Dang. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. We don't have lethal.
land will not forsake you. If I make that same exact attack at them, you know, we put them down to eight. Or we if they you know make that same block on the Paradise Tree, we deal eight, so then they're at four where the Phoenix could finish them off potentially. But if they have removal spell for Phoenix in hand, which is kind of what they need to stabilize anyway, like they need to find removal for Phoenix. If, if they had the removal for Phoenix anyway, I think it's just good to get uh, Nissa out of here so they can't just have, you know, continually have more 4 threes for free every single turn. It's just so hard to beat that. Yeah. We had, yeah, like seven spellbreakers and 20 cards between the two decks. Interesting. All right, so they're at 12, we're at 11. They're keeping the 3-3 three, three no, instead of let... I feel like that's a block sorry. there, because now it's just a 3-3, three, three, and a 3-3 three, three doesn't trade with the 4-4. Four, four. That's the top deck. Magnificent world. Yeah, Domri was going to die either way. So now it was just, you know, do they want their 3-3 to trade with a 4-4, basically? Nissas are so good. <laughs> Ugh. They're just worth so many cards, each one. And like both. Of... You know, had to like waste so much life, longer. like so much damage attacking the Nissas with the six loyalty and everything, too. But all right, we're. Even up on the board. We're going to go down to six. We're going to shock here. I hope you don't bother that. I love to make a splash. Moving. 
All right. Finish this one out. I had two really good games, though. Two super, super close games. So I think they have Lava Coil. We didn't actually have lethal. Right there. And the Vivian in our hand was going to be lethal, but our opponent didn't know about that card. But I guess with them being at four, I guess they don't have like Hellkite or anything like that. Yeah, my opponent didn't know with the Vivian, though, when they conceded. So I guess they don't have, like, Hellkite because we we went down to four. Oh, yeah, I mean, basically every, like, I yeah, I, I had tons of cards that I could have had for lethal there, yeah, with... Nissa, Hellkite, Vivian. Um, I was out of Spellbreakers. But Domri. Just three mana Domri was lethal. want to be able to play my spells that's where we're, that's why we kept our hands because we're going to be able to play our spells we have struggled with that in the past So probably Nissa. It's just always Nissa. I guess they could have had Nissa. They could have played Nissa last turn if they had Nissa, actually. Ooh, Chandra would be worse for me. Yeah, you get whenever you you get your rewards, and so it tells you there if you were in mythic. Huh. That's odd. If you're in mythic and you want to know the exact number, um, you have to wait a couple of days. They'll send out like an email saying like what you finished and then that you're qualified. For We're fit enough to the survive. next, uh, the next, uh, next Mythic Championship qualifier on Arena, because it takes them a couple of days to just like verify all the results and everything, make sure everything was in, and have the rankings complete. My, my, how you've grown. Well, that's unfortunate. We had two really, really good games, but this game looks like our opponent just really flooded out. I 
There's not really anything in my sideboard I want to grab. Besides, like bio, it's this will be uh, fun to watch. Bioessence Hydra is the card to grab, but with Bioessence Hy Hydra, you need you need more loyalty on your planeswalkers. Well, um, I don't know. It takes time to like send out all the emails and everything. It looked like the mythic qualifiers are every like three or four months. Hey, Amatrin, love you too. So, GGS. Sorry about that third game, Vorpal. Yeah, I just had to land that last one. That's all you drew. We had two really, really good games, though. Game one and game two were awesome. Yeah, GG's. All right, let's see who's going to be our next person to play. So if you're a subscriber to the channel and want to play against me, all you have to do is type the word battle into the chat, just like Aurasonic just did. Do that. There you go. That's all you got to do. Type that word. The word battle. All right, so we started with 44 decks on our wheel. Okay, is everybody in there? Only have a few people in. If y'all like another minute <laughs> inverse, that's going to enter you. Because you typed the word, typed the letters there. Okay. Let's see who, who is up next. John Doe. All right, John Doe. Good luck. Send me that gamer tag. And here's my gamer tag. And let's spin the wheel. What deck am I playing up next? Mono green at Lamont. Yeah, Boots been here since like the morning and hasn't gotten MTG bot hasn't chosen Boot yet. Mono green Itlamok. So here's our deck. We're playing Growing Rights of Itlamok because this card's cool. That's what that's what we're gonna be doing. We're it lamakin. Oh god changer is the best of three. It does best of one automatically. I think I may need to cancel and re re challenge. Yeah, all the transform cards are are neat. I hope they keep printing transform cards just in in some sets. You know, like how there was just like the Nickel Bolas, and then yeah, like these ones in Ixalan. I I like transform cards. I I really liked the the transform planeswalkers from Magic Origins, like the creatures that the transformed into planeswalkers. I liked that cycle. They're fun. You know, like Huntmaster of the Fells was a fun card. Oh, the Chandra Sleeves. I'm almost there. Oh, 
Oh, hey, turn three Nessa. <laughs> Magic so hard. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Feature! Giving Hawkeye a virtual cat tree here with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Feature. I wonder where he is. He must be up on the bed. Yep. There, I see him up there. He's curled up there on the bed. Ah, choops. We got chooped. Cease this aggression. We have so much mana. We need something to do with it. I guess that's good enough. The land fights for us. Whoops. Priest. So, priest is annoying. There we go. Because I don't want to uh, put this blast zone on two to kill priest, because that kills my leafkins. So, I guess I'm going to have to Ugin minus. See a Jade Light. Gonna get rid of the Midnight Reaper first, though. I know more than you could learn in a thousand. I be gone, interloper. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I guess I should just attack with everything now. Now the Midnight Reaper is gone. We'll just trade. We'll make that trade. It's, it's not a great trade for me, but we're making it. Blowing up all my lands. Well, I'm glad we made that trade. So the forest would have been exiled as well. But now Ugin dies. Too many unreliable variables. I don't love Ugin dying. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, if you if you have like a lot of forest that you ticked up on and then legions end would exile all of them set that up all right just one more card over there plague crafter that's a good one be 
Be wary of the ground you walk on. No, I haven't. I have not played. Um, Team or Extinction. Haven't hit that one yet. When the land speaks, I said just draw another Nissa. That was a really good draw, of course. We ran out of lands. We need more. More lands. Power surges through these lands. The land fights for us. Man, this is ridiculous. I don't know how many of these uses I get to make, but it's probably a lot. I haven't done no math. I'm just gonna keep clicking it until, until it tells me I can't click it anymore. All right, I guess two more. All right, I have never done the, has anybody ever played Biogenic ooze and activated it five times before passing. Has anybody ever done that? We just did that. We also played another five drop that turn too. So five for Nissa, five for ooze, five activations is 15 mana. So 15, 20, 25. So we spent 25 mana that turn. Dang. You have with Wilderness Reclamation? Okay, that makes sense. If you have a couple of Reclamations out, that makes sense. Um, we want the Vivians. The Hydras to kill Priest of Forgotten Gods. I don't want Ripjaw. Drew to the cowl. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's four per activation, right? I I said three. It's four per activation, so that was thirty mana we spent. Dang. The previous turn, also, the previous turn, we had zero lands in, in play. And then we ult Nissa, go put 14 lands into play or whatever, and then next turn spend 30 mana. <laughs> this is pretty fair. Fairly busted, that is. Man, this is like what my deck's all about. Oh, we got we got more Itlamox in here. Nice, Orsana, you put in the highlights, awesome. That's a great turn. Man, Orzhov Sacrifice is such a cool deck. Oh, they didn't activate Priest. They just didn't want to take out the Land War Elf. 
with that, but now we get to kill Priest. They have removal. Wow, what a play. Uh, what a play. So Incubation Druid gives me something to sacrifice to Priest next turn. Witness the ties that bind us all. Of course, they may just activate right now and make me sack this forest, though. Um, yeah, maybe. Like, I have Mono Green Tron also. Good chance Mono Green Tron's better than Mono Green Itlamok. But we made this with Growing Rights of Itlamok, because that's, that's fun. But yeah, probably Mono Green Tron is better. I've been planning on playing this deck that my opponent's playing again here soon. I like it quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. Because you the 60-61 Voracious Hydra. Earlier today on the stream, we made a 44-45 uh, Voracious Hydra on turn... Seven, I think? Yeah, that sounds right. Because we went like 11 11 crisis, then 19 19 crisis, then 44 45 Hydra. Yeah, turn 7. So creatures just get vigilance and trample. Don't gain haste. Rise, my elemental friend. So assuming if they are going to activate Priest of Forgotten Gods, I'd rather just have the Leafkin Druid in play. Because if they would, like, block and then sacrifice, we'd have to, like, sack the land anyway. So we'd only be attacking with the two creatures anyway. But we got the pig. The boar. Look at, look at how happy this boar is over here. This little guy is not bored. That's for sure. Like, we. Yeah, 
and raise boar runners. You should fear those yeah, boar that's that's a good point. This is we do have quite the board state. That's a good one. I demand servitude. <laughs> the boar saying Hakuna Matata. Nissa makes magic really easy. When you play it, really difficult when you're playing against it. <laughs> Gotta maintain board control. Like, my opponent had so many cool cards and did so much cool stuff. I was just like, yeah, make another 3 3 haste vigilance by just ticking up. Because we get to just keep doing that. And also my four lands over here. Oh, by the way, I can cast this eight mana ridiculously powerful Endrace Forerunners with my four lands over here. Nissa is pretty unfair. Sorry about that, John Doe. All right. Who's up next, though? You're going to be up next like a boss? All right. We'll type the word battle into the chat. So subscribers, they'll want to face next. Yeah, we got the old 12-5. It's like a, you know, your March Madness bracket. The 5 versus 12 seeds. Alright, coming up on hour number 7. We got about 5 hours left. All right, is everybody in there? Looks like it. All right, Dennis. You're up next, Dennis. Let's spin this wheel. Orzov Angels. All right. There's my gamer tag there. All right, we haven't looked at Orzov Angels in a little while. Let's see what our deck looks like. of angels where are you at there you are it takes a few days satat all right deck looks pretty good good enough here we go here's our orzov angel deck So with this part three that we just started a little bit ago, I have like, we did mono black control, then mono green it Lamoth. Did we do, we didn't do any other decks, right? Did we do any decks between mono green or mono black control and mono green it Lamoth? Did I forget one? Cause I'm going to be writing them down this time. And now we have Wars of Angels. Ah, uh, Teamer. I thought I missed one. Teamer midrange. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Honor Guard. Yeah, th thanks. So yeah, the, that link that JRC just put in there, you can go to, go to there and look for Azoria Skies um, from this morning. Um, you can also... It may be easier just to go to the YouTube channel, honestly, and just just browse, click the video tab, just browse there, and um, look for it on there. All 
All right, my deck really wants me to play this card. I should probably just play it. <laughs> I tried putting one on the bottom with the mulligan. I tried putting one down to the bottom with the scry. And it just keeps, it just gave me another one. It was saying something. Yeah, Kaya over here really wants me to play the honor guard. No, my whole game plan was Soren. I don't have any Soren anymore. I don't have a game plan. New game plan. Draw two lands. So Grixis midrange. So if they attack here, um, then I'll be playing the Dennis. Yeah, so if Dennis attacks, I'm, I'm blocking with the Tithe Taker. This is rough. So I can't really cast cast down because then the butcher just kills the type taker. I kind of need that tight, that cast down to get rid of. We have to keep our lands in the command. Alright, draw land. Okay. We're still in there. Uh, two. Six. Eight. Ten. That's 12. 12? Do I need the type taker? Yeah, I probably do. Alright, 12. Let me remind you to fear those born of darkness. Do not defy me. What a mess I've made. I have other schemes All right, let's to do attend this thing. to. Um, yeah, there's Gaia's Blessing. Jace. It's like far as ways to like not keep yourself from milling. Gaia's Blessing, Jace, clear the mind. I mean, clear the mine doesn't really work. It just puts your graveyard back in. I mean, kind of the same thing with Guy's Blessing. If you have too many draw triggers. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Ugh. Okay, jeez, enough. Hmm. 
darkness within. All right, train. It's not a bad trade for us. Chandra and Thief. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Never mind. You got it. Drink. Never mind. I felt good, but then, you know, the that nickel bolus. So what was that? Why did they attack with a thief? Do you even need to do that? I honestly don't think Nicol Bolas should attack. I think they should just flip the Nicol Bolas and minus and kill Shalai. Which I guess they can I guess they can minus and get back the other Nicol Bolas to kill Shalai also. And then I think Chandra should minus one on the Tithe Taker and exile the Tithe Taker. I thought I was fighting dragons. <laughs> Let's get toasty. Yeah, it should just kill the Tithe Taker. Okay, it's a good draw. So yeah, they if they just minus four brought back Dragon God, Dragon, and then had Dragon God kill Shalai. But really need Chandra minus one, exile the Tithe Taker. Then it's going to be really hard for me to gain more life with that Tithe Taker gone. This is a close game. They're too focused on these these emblems. Cause even like four emblems, I have four power in the air, that that just checks that out.
Yeah, Lyra doesn't do like Lyra like pumps up the Shalai. But we already have lifelink anyway. Okay, jeez, enough. You belong to me now. Like someone's getting a little sweaty. Who is this again? So this is Dennis. So yeah, if Dennis goes back and watch watches this. Um Well, they see if they would have just. I require your body, not your soul. Also brought back the other, like that was like the turn they could have won this. Brought back the other bolus, but then also they need to minus one and exile the tithe taker. They were too too focused on getting emblems. The emblems weren't as important. Getting rid of my creatures so that I don't have the gain life uh, ability with Soaring because I don't have creatures. That was more important. Pretty fun game there. Let's get this other Command the Dread Horde in. Um, Dispark seems like it does a good amount of stuff. Even though my <clears throat> my deck was telling me that you, that I wanted honor guards, I really did not want honor guards. So those are gonna go. No, I don't. No, I've never done. VI, what's VIP status? I've never done that. Hey, Project Vanner. Yeah, Butcher and Knight of the Ebon Legion. So yeah, Legion's Ends. We'll take out Dreadhorde Butcher and Knight of the Ebon Legion. Honestly, I should just keep that hand, even though it's double white. I should probably just keep it. I do like Seraph a lot in this matchup. The problem is if they have turn three Thief of Sanity and I don't have like something to block it like Resplendent. But it's like what's I mean, they're just gonna kill Resplendent anyway. Just so they don't have turn three Thief of Sanity. Alright, well that's two games in a row that we mulligan whatever car we put on bottom we just immediately draw, so I'm glad we put the Resplendent Angel down to the bottom, because I won't like, I wouldn't, I don't mind having the one Resplendent Angel, but I didn't want a second one. So that worked out pretty well. Yes, I did play Mono Black Aggro. I don't remember exactly what video, but if you just go, if you, like, the other two videos are uploaded, just head on over to them on YouTube, and, and I, I wrote on, in the video, like, what decks I played in the description, so you can just check it out in the description. But I don't remember which one.
Contempt uses my mana much better. I have another Legion's End and a War Boss. Uh, got so punished for using the Legion's End last turn instead of just contempting, because then this turn I could have gone Tithe Taker or Legion's End. Got really punished. Yeah, I've never I've never heard of that VIP badge. So checking it over, I think that's really like my best way of staying alive is getting rid of the war boss here. And you know, we draw a land, we can have Seraph kill this knight. You can also just have the Seraph block the knight the next turn. If we don't. No, did not play a Pride Mate deck. Haven't hit that one. Are you sure that's a thing? The VIP status? I kind of don't think that's a thing. I don't know. Cause I tr tried click on a name. I know, I, I just did. I just tried clicking on somebody's name and seeing if there was an option for VIP and I didn't see anything. It is a thing. Okay, so that okay, so that's how I do it. So it's not like a monthly thing of like get VIP status for a month. Like, so we're talking about like if we could do it in such a way that, um, you know, if, if you win in the, the sub battle chat here, you get VIP status for a month, but it's like, then I'd ha I'd have to keep up with that and take that, you know, take that away after a month. Yeah, I'd have to keep up with that. Yeah.
I'm dead to Dreadhorde Butcher. Close game. Ooh, so glad that wasn't last turn. So I can't let Dreadhorde Butcher deal damage to me because if I do, like their their plan is like have attack me for one with Dreadhorde Butcher and then Dragon God minus and kill the Dreadhorde Butcher that kills me. So I have to do this. Which does mean, you know, they can stay alive by minusing Dragon God and killing one of my tokens. That wasn't a mistake. I was I was literally taking lethal if I didn't do that. Because they attack me for one with Dreadhorde Butcher, I go to one, and then Dragon God kills Dreadhorde Butcher, and I die. Defiance has oh, yeah, Soren would have been good off the top. Good call. Hmm... I don't want to kill Dragon God. Yeah, it's worth it to kill Dragon God. Because you think, well, they get another turn if I kill Dragon God, but Dragon God drawing that extra card is like having an extra turn anyway. <laughs> Your assault is insulting. Why not work? Should have just attacked Nicobolus the first time with the four creatures when they were at seven. Let your weak mind just always attack the Planeswalker. Except for times you shouldn't attack the Planeswalker. And this game's over. I don't I don't have any outs from here. Nigga Bowl sent ended this by exiling my lands and everything. Should've just attacked Nickel Bulls for four the first time. Almost came back and won that though after it looked it looked really, really bad for me. Almost came back and won that. The biggest mistake I made that game, you know, in hindsight, was casting that Legion's End instead of casting Contempt, because then after drawing the 2-1, we would would have been able to Legion's End plus play the 2-1 the next turn.
And then, yeah, there's the... Uh, then, obviously, I should have just attacked the Nicol Bolas also. So that, and two... Mistakes there. Tithe so good. Trades with their two drop and gives me a one a one one still. Hey Helix. Welcome. Sanity has been stolen. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. Darn, they blocked. I abhor my need for blood. So we gained five life with Resplendent Angel. You know, attacked for four life link. Soren got number five. Get that free token. <laughs> yeah, Magic's just a great game. So it's just a great game. No, I don't have the the one four white two drop. No, I don't have that card. Um, Bishop of Wings. Nope, I have Takali Honor Guards instead. This is meta game with all the like Risen Reef decks running around and everything. Hostage taker. Hostage taker. Not even taking the token. I don't know if I'm supposed to get Tithe Taker there. I was kind of planning on getting Tithe Taker and kind of audible to just ticking up. Kind of glad I ticked up. I saw him be a lot closer to dying. Yeah, I don't. I don't have like the. I'm not. Yeah, there you go. I'm not changing my decks, my deckless command each time because it's just difficult to do that. But you can see all the decks in there. May death. Find you quickly. Yeah, I was surprised with Thief hit Soren. I think Thief should always just hit the player, like for the most part. Hmm.
We have ones of our thief trigger. I'm still just attacking. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Like with them not just grasping the, the Soren means they didn't want me to be able to get back the Lyra if they kill the Lyra. And so I thought the Lyra was probably going to die here, so I wanted to attack. And also why I want to play Midnight Reaper. Playing Soren would be... Um, be vulnerable to uh, them killing Lyra and then attacking with these three creatures. Okay. Really wanted to land. I have come for vengeance. I just have to kill Nickel Bolas, though. I will return. What I for a drink. Oh, that's true, Rivers. I should have done that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. That was that was the line I should have done the, that previous turn was just attack with the Lyra, and then if they make the the same block of blo of just jump blocking with Resplendent, then I could play Soren minus grab Res Resplendent and trigger Resplendent. Yeah, that that was my line. Yep. Take that line, I win this. I would have been so far ahead compared to where I'm at now. I, I, yeah, like this game would have been over if I would have done that. Because no, basically, that turn that we had Lyra and ending. Midnight Reaper, instead, we would have had Lyra, Resplendent Angel, and another 4 4 Angel. And Soren. <laughs> so, like, whenever they played Nickel Bolas to kill my Lyra, we would have had, like, everything. No, I, yeah, Mardu Angels is good. I have a deck called Kalia and Friends. That's like my Mardu Angel deck. That's a good deck. Really, really debating between just activating, just activating a Resplendent Angel there and getting a, a free four four. My schemes have been for you. Witness a moat of my power. But it's easier to kill that four four than kill Seraph, and so I'm going with Seraph. Ugh. All right, well, both of these games that I lost here could have taken lines to win. This card is so good. Love this card. We're just locked out here now.
All right, 12 and 6. Okay, but good to know. Learned, you know, learned stuff. Could have definitely won both those games that I lost. Took, took some poor lines. All right, good job, Dennis. GG's. GG's. Okay, so who's going to be the next person to battle? If you like, if you are a subscriber to the channel and you want to play against me next, type the word battle into the chat now. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, those are such, such close games, all of them, Dennis. Those are really good games. GG's. Okay. And we're going to be spinning the wheel to see what deck I'm playing up next. All right, we got more. So just for subscribers only, we got more people in here that want to join. If you want to join, make sure you type battle. You got a few more seconds. I'm going to take a drink of water. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, it's all good, yeah. That's, that's not me, though, I don't, I don't get, like, uh, tilted or anything. Alright, see who's up. So it's just for subscribers. Um... So sorry, Goyalos. Just we're just playing against subscribers. Of course, everybody can watch and hang out and cheer for team team chat and everything. Aura Sonic. All right, Aura Sonic, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag, and let's spin the wheel. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Hogsin, yep. Yeah, that's Lesnia Angels. That was so much fun. Really had it with, like, that deck, like, right after rotation. I was owning up pretty good with that deck. Twitch Primes do count. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch Primes subs are just like regular subs. All right, what deck? Wait, what deck am I playing? <laughs> Model Green Tron. Okay, this is similar to the Model Green It's Itlamok deck that we played a little while ago. All right, looks like my arena needs to be reset. Also, I guess it's. Has it been that long since? Hasn't seemed like it's been that long. This is match number five. I should play a couple more matches. Oh, uh, Model Black Control took. Takes forever, and so yeah, that one was a really long match. No, where's Mono Green Tron? There it is. It's down at the bottom. All right, let's let's see what our. Oh my gosh, why is this interface so easy to use? Let's see what this looks like. All right, so this is what our Mono Green Tron deck looks like. <laughs> Gravestone Cage. Eh, those aren't as necessary these days, but oh well. Digging it. All right, let's see how it does. Probably need more Field of Ruins, less Blast Zone and Mobilized District and stuff like that. Oh well. We'll display it how it is. Deck's like six weeks old, but that's all good. No, white will not get haste. No. 
I'm not going to print white cards with haste. That's just, haste is also like an evergreen mechanic. That's not going to be a, a mechanic that, that the set is kind of built around. They won't do that. They won't make the set mechanic be an evergreen mechanic. But yeah, no, white never gets hazed. Wait on the Hydra. We have Nissa kind of covered now, but okay. Not Nissa. Well, that card's pretty great. Voracious Hydra and Vivian both looking pretty strong. <laughs> the new white mechanic is going to be Teferianism. Until your next upkeep after casting a spell, your opponent plays a game of Hearthstone. That does not sound like a good mechanic. Everything from deer to dinosaurs. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Yeah, get out of the way. We got some stomping to do. Taking it all. All right, down to two. No. Hydra on Hydra crime. Do I have any cool creature to grab from our sideboard? The meteor golem? Meteor golem school. One arrow knocked. Hope you're ready. Oh yeah, plus was minus, or yeah, plus was lethal, minus was lethal. Any any option I do with Vivian is lethal. The plus one was lethal, the minus three was lethal, the minus five was lethal. They're all lethal. I want to do the minus five. You don't get to do that too much.
Okay. Don't think I changed anything. Just keep it as is. Don't think we need Carnage Tyrant. Just like our only sideboard card. <laughs> Don't need that one. All right, so yeah, actually after this match, yeah, we'll do a reset. So I guess, because I guess it has been three hours. This has been a three hour video, so we'll kind of do a cut and then start recording for part four. We'll do an arena reset. Yeah, arena could use a reset. Well, hope an opponent has a slow hand. No land war elf or a sonic, yay. Yeah, new white mechanic is just gonna be count the white effect is gonna be counter magic because of mana tithe. Yeah, we white burn spells. I want like dis like mono white discard. Ugh. They had the fast hand. I said no fast hand. They didn't listen. All right, just kind of hoping that there's no more elementals. Darn. Yeah, bounce Voracious Hydra. Let's slow this Do it. Down. Bounce it. Bounce it. Bounce it. Bounce it. Bounce. 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 There goes nothing. Dilt. Yeah, see, like, Mono White just doesn't have that, like, white, the white color and the color pie just doesn't have an identity. It's just, like, randomly pushed mythics is its ability. Or, like, that's, like, its, its identity. Doesn't really have anything else going for it. And, you know, so that's, like, whether it's, like, um, you know, like, Gideon, ally of Zendikar, or Ar Archangel Avacyn, or, um, you know, History of Benalia, God Eternal Oketra. It's just, like, stat-heavy kind of random mythics. Like, that's, those are, like, the, the white cards. Vigilance. Yeah. We will not fail. Yeah, it's like the exile. It is the yeah, I guess it is like the Rise, my the biggest friend. exile color. But as far as like know my responsibility. But like that's still like just like a support color, you know, like besides like the support aspects of like the actual Might be what it does. Idea. Without me, 
Because like green, because like green, you have like ramp, and then like discard, counter magic, burn. It's white, I guess. Life gain, I guess. But life gain is just so bad standard wise. And all these other colors have just like random life gain stuff. All right, well, we don't have a sideboard still. So I just got to have a faster hand with, like, mana creatures. Did not have mana creatures. All right, game number I want all of these cards. To get rid of an elf? I guess I have to get rid of an elf. I really want all of these. Could have got rid of Hydra, but... Hydra is so good. Yeah, I know, right? Don't you hate those times, like, whenever you mulligan, and then you, like, look at all seven, and you're like, I've won all seven of these. Don't y'all hate that? Just being aggro, they're down to 11. Got two, three power creatures. So I can I can minus and I get a three three. Or plus and get a 2-2. Two, two. I'd rather just plus and get a 2-2 two, two so that I have the ability to minus still with Ugin on some, for some other thing that I need to.
I don't really have to worry about Nyssa killing Ugin because we have Field of Ruin. They would have had to play basic. So yeah, like the, the first part, Matthew, on your card, ah, you said you made this card, before you. a cursed hag, when it enters the battlefield, choose target creature and opponent controls, it becomes cursed. You have to, like that has to actually mean or do something, like, like you have to have like a, a counter, so it could be like, target creature gains a a cursed counter. You have to be able to uh, show that card. I should have looked at that. Sorry, I was, I was looking at your card. I, I have no idea if Orisonic kept that card on top or bottom. Um, I guess I could just... Uh, we'll just let them... We'll just let Orisonic draw it. So by not activating Field of Ruin, I do get to activate Archer Verazka. So five, that'd be three, four. Could have just hit Nissa off of that. Should have arched first, could have hit Nissa. Hey Gatsby. Happy sub battle day. No, I think I was still one mana short from yeah, I was one mana short from activating field and then Orozco, I'm pretty sure. Cause... Doesn't matter who I kill. All right. Had the fast start that time with the mana creatures. I had Land Warlf on the play that game. GG Zorasonic. GG 
GG's. Okay, so that's going to end part three of the sub battle stream. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you've been enjoying this uh, this stream so far. Been having a lot of fun playing a bunch of, you know, just so many fun decks, both us and chat. So uh, make sure you tune in to part four, which is going to happen right now. Click on over there. Thanks for watching.